Johnson. We're excited to be here. I'm the director of development for. With me is Liz Jarnigan, our director of athletics, and Brian Mullins, the head coach of our men's basketball program. We are super excited to be here with you today. Um, Liz has been with our department for a little over two years now, serving the last year um, as our director of athletics, which we are very lucky to have her at the helm. And this is Brian's second season as head coach of the Saluki men's basketball program. Um, and he has a very busy week ahead of him. So we appreciate you being here with us. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun just to start off with an easy question. Liz, I know that um, we've had a ton of events and we have more to come. So I wanted to see what you do to stay caffeinated through all of this. Is it coffee? Is it soda? Is it tea? What is it? Well, uh, thank you for bringing up all the <laughs> events. We are, are in the midst of 145 events in 111 days this spring. And uh, we do have our hands full. In order to stay caffeinated, I don't do a very good job, unfortunately. Uh, I do drink some iced tea. Uh, I do have a doctor's appointment in a, a little while later today. Maybe I can ask about an IV or something like that. <laughs> an IV of tea? <laughs> yeah, sure. Brian, what do you do? Are you a coffee guy or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty simple. Just coffee. I stay away from the uh, the energy drinks and all that stuff. But uh, you know, with the way the conference series have gone with back to back games, uh, there hasn't been a lot of sleep, and there's been probably a little more coffee than usual this season. Yeah, maybe we could get a coffee sponsor after this somehow <laughs> on this. So um, today we're here to talk about Saluki Athletics with you guys. So we appreciate you watching us during this time. Um, we talk about all the exciting things that have been going on and more to come but we had an incredible weekend in Saluki Athletics. So Liz, would you, would you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, thank you for bringing that yeah. up. We are really excited and we've been excited in Saluki Athletics, but this last weekend really exemplifies the, the excellence and the hard work that our athletes and our coaches have been putting in all through this challenging year. Uh, um, you know, the first and foremost thing we need to talk about is our football team upsetting the number one team in the nation in North Dakota State University over the weekend. The, we, we were uh, part of breaking a 39 game winning streak uh, from that team. And uh, it, it was just an amazing accomplishment. I'm so pleased for those, those coaches and the athletes. And the, the love that the program has gotten nationally is is wonderful for our athletic department and even more wonderful for our school and so that's been great but that's not the only great thing that's happened this this, this weekend we yeah. uh, currently have our softball and baseball programs who are undefeated uh, and uh, our softball team is on a winning streak that is tied for second with oklahoma for the longest winning streak in, uh, in, the, in the country. And uh, both of them are on winning streaks that date back to last season when unfortunately their seasons were cut short. Uh, we, uh, over the weekend also had two uh, of our female track and field student athletes qualify for the NCAAs, which is just an outstanding accomplishment. Uh, we, we, we're very proud uh, of those women. We've got other great things going on as well. We, men's basketball uh, took Loyola, a, a very quality uh, ranked basketball team to the wire over the weekend, took them to overtime and fell just short. So we cannot wait to get them again in the upcoming uh, Missouri Valley uh, tournament. Uh, I could go on and on. The weekend was wonderful. What's going on this spring is awesome for all of our student athletes. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this time has been incredible and everything is sort of leading up to what we typically um, have our whole community go to, which is Arch Madness. This year it's a little bit different, but we're super excited uh, to see the Salukis on the court tomorrow night. Brian, what has it taken um, from your staff, from the team here at SIU to get your program to this point? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, obviously a unique and challenging year for everyone. Um, and it starts with our leadership and, and um, you know, with our athletic department, with Liz, um, providing an opportunity for student athletes to come this summer. Um, you know, our guys, the football team, the women's basketball team, were the first student athletes here at the end of June. And for us in women's basketball, especially, our guys have been here for the last seven months through 
the height of the pandemic. Um, and there's been tons of things outside of our control that have happened this year. Yeah. Um, but the things that have been inside our control in terms of our kids' character, their work ethic, their resiliency, that's probably what I'm most proud of. Um, you know, we have an extremely young team. We have one of the youngest teams in the country. We started off the season 7-0, the best start since 1967. We beat Butler, who had the longest home court non-conference winning streak in the country. And like Liz mentioned, we were uh, a free throw away from uh, winning uh, at Loyola, who's a ranked team, and SIU's never beat an NBC ranked team on the road before. So, um, you know, I'm incredibly proud of our guys and um, everything they've been through this year, um, yeah. not being able to go home for the holidays. Um, and just where they're at right now and how hard that they continue to play and what they do and how they represent the university in the classroom, in the community, and on the court. Yeah. Um, so right now we're excited for this opportunity to go to Arch Madness. I mean, this is what, this is what all the kids dream of, you know, having a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And, and that's what's in front of them right now. We have a, you know, a great opponent in Bradley tomorrow night, and you know, I have no doubt our kids will be ready to play tomorrow. Yeah. If there's one thing I think we've seen from at least your program and, and every other program that we've got, it's the resiliency of our student athletes uh, during this crazy time. And COVID-19 has disrupted not only us here at SIU, um, but all of college athletics. Um, Liz, how has the department adapted during this time? Well, it's been a lot of hard work and I've been telling people that uh, you know, I've been spending more time on trying to fake being a doctor or a mm. medical professional uh, than being an athletic director over the last year. Uh, and we've had a lot of support. Uh, I couldn't uh, comment on this without complimenting Carrie Blaylock, who has really taken the lead and helping us with a lot of our protocols uh, as well. Um, but it's been a challenge for sure. We, we, uh, did come up, or I, I will say that I came up with a very grand and elaborate strategic plan for us to manage our, our current year. And I'm, I'm happy to share it with all of you now. And, and, and that plan is to win. So that, that, that's the plan. <laughs> win no matter what. We've yeah. got COVID, we've got budget crisis, we've got all of these issues that are, they're, they're just obstacles in the way and we're coaches we're athletes we know how to strategize we we, we against uh, formidable opponents and that's what we do and so currently we are implementing that plan just win okay perfect well and i know that we've got um on top of winning we have a plan to get through our financial difficulties and we've got a video to talk about that a little bit The Saluki, it's the symbol that connects SIU alumni everywhere, on the field, in the stands, and around the world. The Saluki represents our collective pride. We're still two minutes to our history is rich, our spirit strong, but our future is uncertain. Now, more than ever, we need your help to preserve the Saluki legacy. We've had challenges before. We've sacrificed. We've adapted. And we've overcome them. Now, we must invest in the student athletes, coaches, and programs we hold so dear. To protect what we've built, maintain our promise, and prepare for an even brighter tomorrow. Our student athletes represent SIU's diverse student body and act as ambassadors for the entire university. Our coaches exemplify Saluki excellence, working tirelessly to recruit the best and the brightest, putting SIU on the track to win championships and further elevate our name. The character of our student athletes, coaches and staff is what makes me most proud. And even though we're in the midst of great financial challenges brought on by COVID-19, it's because of their dedication that I know great things lie ahead. To get there, we need a boost from our fellow Salukis. And this year alone, we calculate more than $2 million in lost revenues due to the pandemic. Our goal is to raise $30 million over the next four years to secure the future of our programs and elevate Saluki Athletics to new heights. 
The Missouri Valley is one of the most competitive conferences in the country, and we believe we're on the cusp of a great run of Saluki success. With your support, the Saluki's Forever fundraising campaign will help us stay strong in challenging times and emerge with a newfound strength. We can only do this together. So we're asking you to join us. When times are hard, we come together and work even harder. We put our grit and determination on display and we lift each other up. And as Salukis, we win. Salukis are resilient. Salukis are loyal. Salukis forever. Forever SIU. That video always gives me goosebumps. I don't know if it's Mike Reese's voice or just the cinematography from the, uh, uh, the production, but I just, that gets me so hyped up. And I think we've been talking a lot about what we've been going through and now we're gonna shift focus to the future. Um, Brian, as an alum, which we're so lucky to have you here because not only are you an incredible head coach, but you're an alum of this university, how do you see the future? of Saluki Athletics and your program and the energy that's here right now, um, where do you see that going? Yeah, I've said it a ton uh, the last two years. Um, this is the best time to be at Southern Illinois. I 100% believe that uh, with all my heart. Um, I've experienced how special this place is. I've graduated with a finance degree. Uh, I've played in some unbelievable moments um, for the basketball program. And you know, I think it starts with our leadership, with Chancellor Lane, with, with Liz for the athletic department. Um, the continuity that we have now. And, you know, you can feel this university building momentum every single day that I've been here for the last two years, just in, in terms of where this place is going, you know. And, and I think for us, um, you know, as a basketball program, you know, just what makes Southern Illinois so special is the Southern Illinois people, the community. And it, it's what separates us from every other school in our conference around the Midwest. Uh, the pride and the passion that people have to be Salukis is amazing. And wherever I've traveled through the Midwest, through the country, when I was playing overseas, people always talked about SIU to me. And I think that's just so special. And, and you saw it last year, obviously, with being able to have fans in the Banterra Center. Yeah. The type of atmosphere that that is, that's not, that doesn't happen everywhere. That, that is so unique um, to this university. And it just shows, you know, the type of character that this place has. And, you know, I think, um, you know, we say in our program, how you do anything is how you do everything. And I think if you see in our athletic department, what we're doing in the community, what we're doing in the classroom, all that stuff translates to success on the court, in the field, uh, on the track, you know, and the, got the people that we have in our department with the coaches, with the staff, and then with our student athletes, uh, it, it's as good as it can be. And we're the success in terms of the wins, the championships, the NCAA tournaments, those are coming. Yeah. Those are coming because everything else we're doing at a high level right now. Yep. Yeah. I'm fired up. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. And Liz, I know that it takes a lot for us to resource what Brian's talking about. So could you talk a little bit about um, what that resourcing is going to look like in the future? We're launching this campaign. What makes it different? What makes the energy that's around um, what we're trying to do uh, going to take us to the future? Yes, I'd love to talk about that. So let me just piggyback on what Coach Mullins just said in terms of resources. He just spoke to probably our most valuable resource in our department and in, in athletics in this community, and it's our people. And uh, not only do we have outstanding student athletes, we lead the Missouri Valley Conference in the number of uh, uh, academic All-Americans at 101. Uh, our, every single one of our athletic teams earned over a 3.0 GPA last year. Uh, Brian's team for the fall semester earned a 3.7 GPA. I've never worked anywhere where the women's or the men's basketball team earned over a 3.0. And so um, it, it, from top to bottom, uh, uh, the academics uh, uh, from our student athletes and their commitment to their sports is amazing. And, and our coaching staff, I'm sitting next to one of them. That's a great example from top to bottom, from, from women's sports to men's sports, from, from golf to basketball to football to swimming to track, uh, volleyball, softball, baseball, everything. We have awesome leadership 
in place right now. The right people are leading our young people in our athletic department. And um, so those resources are in place. And where we're struggling right now is with the dollars. Uh, on, on the financial side of resourcing these wonderful programs is where we need some help. And we're, we need to reach out to this wonderful community who has always supported us and shows up and creates that wonderful environment in the Banterra Center uh, to help us to complete uh, a full complement of resourcing for our programs. Yeah. Well, and you can do that today. Um, SIU Day of Giving, um, make a donation to Slukey Athletics. You made connections at SIU. You are alumni Salukis for life. Stay connected. Follow the SIU Alumni Association on social media. Visit SIUalumni.com for information about programs and becoming a member. You can also download the SIU Alumni Association app, available on iOS and Android devices for free. The SIU Alumni Association. Get connected today.